Today I have the chance to chat with Lori Ryerson. She's a fine art photographer who specializes in landscape and travel. On today's episode of YYE, you're young in Eglinton. Lori, pleasure meeting you and thank you so much for having us in your space. Um, why don't we start off by having you tell us about your business. Thank you very much for having me. I am a fine art photographer. Uh, I specialize in landscape and travel photography. So fine art photography. Yes. But you, your photos you turn into art pieces, so much like a painter would kind of produce a, 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 a painting and then sell that or monetize that. Um, that's what you do with your photography, correct? I do. The difference between photography and a painting is that I can reproduce my art uh, I do it in limited editions, but I can reproduce it 100% where a painter produces one image and then sells that. I have the option of different treatments, uh, different surfaces to print on, uh, framed, unframed, that kind of thing. But it's still art. When you introduced yourself, you mentioned that you specialize in landscape and travel. And I mean, I can see some of the pieces that we have uh, around us here. They're gorgeous. Thank you. They're, you'll, there also is a theme uh, that you have, and I was hoping you could tell us a bit more about it. I look to photograph silence. I try to, I don't think that people give enough time to silence these days. We, everything that we live in makes noise. Uh, the refrigerator, your telephone, all of that. And so I try to bring a little bit of silence into people's world. So when you, when you were looking for subjects, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but you try to find kind of big open spaces, they're not populated, stuff like that? I do, uh, and even within the more populated areas, you can uh, focus down into something, create what we call intimate landscapes, which is when I do something like a close-up on a flower or something like that, right. uh, and create something that's, it's still quiet, uh, but it's smaller. Focusing on landscapes, you probably have traveled a fair bit in your life, I would assume, for in order to find those kind of um, places that you want to take photos of. Do you mind kind of talking a little bit about some of the kind of different places that you travel to? I am a very, very lucky lady. Uh, in my early days, it occurred to me when I finally left the corporate world uh, that all of my decisions about what I wanted to do and be in my world involve travel. And so uh, I love to travel to places like I've been to Egypt. Um, I've been to Greenland, I've been to Iceland, which I would go back to in a heartbeat. Um, if you hit these places, this is the California desert. Um, so places with, yeah, big open skies and big open spaces uh, that are just beautiful. Lori, is there anything else that we haven't had a chance to talk about that you wanted to share? With COVID restrictions coming down a bit, uh, it's pretty exciting that finally after two years of not being able to take my art outside again uh, to have shows coming up. And so we've got a, a big one, an indoor show coming up in April uh, for the first time live in two years. We have the Artist Project at the CNE coming up April 21 to 24. Be there, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very excited about that. I am. Um, it just the ability to, when you show your art on a screen, when people are looking at it on a computer and it's backlit and it's, you know, it's on a screen this big, it doesn't have the same effect as this does when you see it, when you can, you know, smell it and lick it and touch it and it's right there in front of you. It has a whole different effect that way than just looking at it on your computer. Sure. And, and you're also, you know, somebody's looking at it online, they're also subject to like the resolution of their monitor or the lighting in their room and those kinds of things. Or somebody right. needs dinner and they go away from it. Whereas when it's in their home, when I can talk to them, when I can tell them my stories, uh, every one of my images has a story behind it. So when I have an opportunity to share the stories that I learn around the world, uh, it just it just brings the art home to them. So I want to encourage people to to find you. I know that you mentioned you can be found live and in person at the CNE in April. Um, how would somebody track you down online? To uh, keep it you? simple, lauriryerson.ca and very deliberately .ca. <laughs> okay, Lori, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay.